Welcome YouTube GS1200 owners to my series of videos about replacing the front timing case cover on the 1200. This is an extra video I realised I needed to do just to talk you through the preparation work you need to do before you can do any of this uh, work right from the beginning. So first things first, um, the front wheel will need to come out. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Um, Remove the uh, brakes, um, obviously, that's straightforward. Uh, and also the mud guard held in place with these little uh, bolts there. I thought these might be seized in, um, given their location, but actually they, they were okay. But I will be copper slipping them back in, and I'll give the mud guard a good clean before I put it back. Um, so that had to come out. The crash bars were in the way. I thought I'd have to remove the whole blasted lot because I was really struggling getting to this um, bolt there which holds the cross crash bar, which I'll put away safely somewhere. Um, that runs across in front of the engine cover and you've got to get that out of the way. What I eventually realised was that because being a box engine, the cylinders are offset. There was actually more space to get a hex onto this side of the, um, what can you see? There, there we go, the engine here. Because it's a show, so short of space to get a hex spanner on. So um, I should have done this side first. If you do this side first, then the other one is easier to get a hex spanner on and get the crash bar off. You don't have to mess around with the rest of the crash bars. What you'll also need to do is drop the exhaust system down. So the studs here. While you're about it, new crush gaskets are a good idea. Um, otherwise you'll have popping and banging if you reuse the old gaskets. New ones aren't very expensive. Uh, so again here, this side. Um, it also meant removing the silencer, which would normally go down there, um, and jiggling the exhaust system around so it dropped down out of the way. Also taking out the um, spark plugs. Um, did the bottom ones as well, didn't I? Uh, yes, so that you can turn the engine over. Um, so there's no compression, so that makes things a lot easier. Uh, there was some, I decided, oh, well, I thought I might need to undo the wiring for the spots that I got installed. In the end, actually, I didn't need to do that. Uh, while I had the bike up on the lift, I decided I'd uh, give the brakes a service. But, you know, that's not actually related to, to doing the timing chain cover. Um, and also, uh, you're not going to be able to do that without draining the oil. So I coincided doing this work with an oil change. So I put a new a new filter in that just needs tightening up um, and draining the oil. Oh, by the way, that's the old where are we? That's the old crush gasket from the exhaust. They're a bit of a fiddle to get out. Um, what I have invested in, I've got one here. Here we go. These little gadgets from, um, I think it was from Screwfix, a set of these. Uh, various different shapes, uh, a needle one for probing things, this hooked one for hooking things. And it's really useful for, for going into spots like that and hooking out the, uh, the crush gasket. Um, simple tool, but I've used that a lot in lots of different applications. So I recommend getting something like that. I think that about wraps up this video then on the preparation work that you'll need to do. Okay, bye for now.